2024 Women's Round 2 match. Noel Shabini of Egypt to serve. Tesney Murphy of Wales to receive. Best of three games. Lovely. And we're in now. John Mazzarella is parched as a dehydrated raisin. That's a what? Exactly. It's a new fruit. Hand out. I mean, she could yes. be tricky at best of three here. I mean, she's, <laughs> you know, oh, she's oh, done her strings gone. already. There we go. So, Shabini's conceded the match. <laughs> no rackets left in the bag. I mean, the Tesney Murphy's going to be dead late at best of three. I'm, I certainly wouldn't want to come up I'm against the I'm trying to, you know, with all due respect, and look at that. Oh, I mean, wow. that's work. That's quite terrific camera work. Where's it gone? It's, oh, I see it at the top. You see it right at the top. She's shanked it. It's unusual for her. It's usually always middling. Well, I mean, we're going to see. This is going to be pretty entertaining either way, I feel. She's Hand out. just hit the ball back oh. there. Just slightly squirted out from the joint. That front wall. Lisa, what do you think the tactics will be of Murphy here? Oh, that's a very good question. I know. I mean... Easier said than done, but keep the ball away from the racket of Nur al-Shabini. Try and get her away from the middle of the court as well, particularly in that backhand area where she has 5,000 options. Oh, wow. Well, we, none of us saw that coming. She Too said it keeps getting better and better. More, more shots are coming out. I mean, that's, that's a great question. I've never actually played Nur al-Shabini. I wouldn't even know where to think about tactics. constantly Three trying to more. think about moving her as well not be scared to take her front to back you don't just want to shut the court down and play into the back corner that's going to become very predictable and you're not going to get many attacking opportunities first things first we paying attention to the quality of the shot This is wicked. Two, three. Such a good technique on it. Definitely recognising those moments where you can actually jump in and get an attack in yourself. I like that from Murphy, particularly from the back of the court, because I feel like that type of shot is going to take Shabini by surprise. Three all. Oh, that's very good hands. Trying to stretch 
Shabini out if possible. Easier said than done. Down. I like that top spin. Yeah. She's taken on the on the rise and the half volley. And out. Fine. Just come right Ooh. over it with the racket. She's got that ability to really change things up, though, Tesney Murphy. Just make it awkward and unsettling. She's doing a good job of just controlling the pace. That was a bit loose, unfortunately, for her. She's caught in two minds there, wasn't she? Hand out, five all. Not too troubled at all here. Beanie casually going about her business, as she always does. Lovely play, real classic Six, Shabini. Five. Just looking at her top there, Lisa, obviously you being a fashionista, she's got a bit of a collared top going on. What what are your what do you feel about that? I'm not sure I'm a fashionista to be honest. Uh, let me just get a look at this collar. You're not saying you're a fashionista. Seven, no, I like five. the collar, I think that's slick. I'm saying your opinion. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I want to hear from the fashionista. No, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. What, what's, a, what's a male fashionista called? Miguel Angel Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> then I am definitely not the female version of that. Just trying to get it out of the volley zone from Cabini. Not quite managing to get the height. Now she's under pressure here, Murphy. Bring it on. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky. It's a good position for a there. Hard working rally. Eight five. I don't think Shabini knew much about that either. That gone up. Extending a lead now to 8 5 in this first. Leslie Murphy got former top 10 player Alison Waters in her corner. Sat in the front row. I'm sure she'll be talking to her in between games. 9 5. Ten five, game ball. Five game balls for Shabini. Moving well here, Shabini. Oh, my goodness, me. Really. I mean, oh, I've got no idea how. Just look at this. I mean, that's just an outrageous shot out of nowhere. It's an outrageous shot from Murphy to begin with. I know. Shots are us. Nine minutes for this first game. Norel Shabini just ambling along in the end, leading one game to love. Fantastic start. From Shabini moving well, hitting her mark, dictating play as she usually does. Tesney Murphy just trying to fiddle around with the variations and pace. Sometimes just not quite getting the, the height on the lift, opening up the court. A few headers as well, you have to say, but you can see the clog, cogs are turning in the head of Murphy. Noodle Shabini with that blinder at the end. That's high top tight. How on earth she managed to get that boast round? No one will ever know. I mean, that is an absolute scandal of a slow-mo. 
It's outrageous work. Brings it home when you see it like that. <laughs> really enjoying that collar. Chabini's top. Fantastic slow mo of that. Warrior Princess squash royalty. Just having a bit of a beverage. I mean, these seats are fantastic, though, aren't they? I mean, they can't get comfier than that. Gone are the old plastic stools where your back would go in between games. I mean, rightly so. Gone are the days of plastic stools and squash. Talk about royalty. That all these players, top-tier royalty, they deserve leather. They so does their sweat. 30 seconds. Alison Waters in the coaching corner, as expected. Yeah, former world number three, Alison Waters. She'll be over the moon being here, seeing the seconds. women's event taking place alongside the men's for the first time. El Shabini leads. One game to love. Well, it says it all, smiling away. Level. Absolutely packed. Play. To the rafters, a few seats left. It's complete sellout tomorrow. That's only part two of the second round, with the quarterfinals coming up on Easter Saturday. Easter Sunday is the semis, and then the Monday, which is Easter Monday, is the finals. That's typically how a tournament works. It certainly yeah. does. Have you got an Easter egg? I, I'm expecting a few. I'm expecting a few, definitely. I do like my chocky wocky. Always tastes better the chocolate in an Easter egg. Yeah, oh, definitely. To be fair, I've always wanted a, a giant Kinder egg. Other brands are yes. available, but a giant one, not those little yes. small ones that you Too just low. put in your, in your mouth with in the, your what? and eat the toy with the egg. See Murphy get into this. Two all. Beautiful <laughs> shot. Right on cue. She comes in here so fast. No idea what she's going to hit. I do love the old double foot. Yeah, double foot, shoulder, shimmy. First review coming in. Well, this is one of those situations, Joy, where I feel like she's created her own interference. Oh. You could say there's a there's a lovely line to the ball. Feet getting caught. Or is it just a let? I think it's a good decision. Upheld. John Mazzarella on the ball yes, there. Let. Times it is just a let. A wry smile from Murphy. Terrific refereeing there by Pablo Del Rio. All 
more Spanish interest coming up. Ika Bajarez taking on George Parker in the late shift after this one. And also Borja Golan coming to join us in the commentary. Oh, you've spoiled the surprise. Hand out to me too. Will he bring the Easter eggs? That is the question. Uh, good question. Nicely played by Murphy. Hand out. Three all. Three all. Is it? Yeah. Um, that's all you've got. Three all. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you've got. Brittle. Keep going. Love. That's what I like though with that little bit of you know it's a nice bit of chat. This is where John Mazzarella does have a very good management. You know that with the PSA directives that come in able to just keep that little bit of humor and keep that under control which is which is really important it, it is tough to to get that balance absolutely does that really well yeah i like that angle that's an aggressive angle from murphy chopping it across the body low and hard four three oh a second bounce accuracy there Got a lovely technique, Tesney Murphy. She read it. Clever play, she's read it. This is where she could be very tricky. She's on a hustle. Two-point lead, mid stage of the second. What do you think? Quite clever doing that as well. <laughs> she tucked in, tucked into Shabini. The ball was a bit further over. Six three. It wasn't the best movement off the ball from Shabini, but you just see the ball's further over there, and she's yeah. gone into Shabini. That is very streetwise. <laughs> Shabini searching this change of momentum. Desperate. Oh, this pack is up. Oh, she's really glad. Oh, wow. Well, listen to that. That's the biggest roar we've uh, heard all day here at Ali Pali. Conducting the crowd, Tesla Murphy. Three. Wow. Oh, that is joke technique again. Joke control. Full stretch. 7 3. Hand out four seconds. This is where Shabini starts to make a move. There's that three point lead for Murphy, but it can be extinguished very quickly. the momentum, desperately Five needed point. Seven. The ability to just crank through the gears when needed. Yeah, one shot choice there. 
Kristen Shabini opened up the court. Hand out eight five. Going in, it was a quick volley attempt here. She read it again. That's very sharp from Murphy. Nine five left. This is a huge opportunity for her, as you pointed out in the head to heads. There's one three two in there. Won't be that with this. You said it the same because it's best of three. <laughs> I am a whispering. Yeah, it's at the top of the tin. 10-5. John Mazzarella able to see that game very ball. clearly, being pretty much the same height as the top of the tin. And it's five game balls for Murphy to take this into a third and a final game. Six ten game ball. Shabini won't panic in any form. Just gets on with it again. It's hard to work out when she's more dangerous, is it? You know, I, I would know. say when she her back is against the wall, literally. She's more dangerous. I mean front running she's a nightmare, but I would say she's a double nightmare. I would agree. No lad. Anyway, she's going to have one. Yeah, no, that's it. a very good point, Lisa. And that's, I thought that would be worth a review. I thought that would be worth a review from Shabini. You made a very good point. Because she still gets a review in the third game. Well, she's going to have to really respond now. She is conducting the crowd. They're very much in favour of Tesley Murphy. The scene is set for a third and final, a very interesting third and final game. Yeah, massive response there from Tesney Murphy. She really took the game by the scruff of the neck and went all out attacking the front two corners of Noura El Shabini. Fair play to her, she's reading Noura El Shabini really well. She's pushing up the court, she's taking on the volleys and she's taking all the time away. That was a fantastic forehand volley drop finish. See here the no let at the end of the game. Tesney Evans is doing a fantastic, Tesney Murphy, sorry, doing a fantastic job using the crowd to her advantage. She's having fun out here, and that is when she is her most deadly. So we're tied here at 1 0. Fantastic. Tesney Murphy just conducting the orchestra as she came off the court there. Really getting the crowd behind her. It's, this is why she loves squash, she loves the entertainment factor. She loves playing for a crowd and using their energy. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Third and final game, all eyes on the number one seed, the world champion and world number one, Norel Shabini, who's trying to liven herself up, up against a very wily, one game determined all. Tesney Murphy, who has got the crowd Murphy on her side. Serve. Each player has one review available. Love all.
third and final game. So the start, breather player, absolutely crucial. Crucial. It's it's oh. no feeling like it at one all, knowing that this is the final game. Out, one love. There's no time to work your way in here. The points can just rattle off so fast. And now it's going to be any tension created in either player. This is the moment. Oh, wow. Absolutely wedged that ball between the racket and the side wall. Oh, trajectory of that ball going towards the side ball. Side wall, sorry, he's very excited. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I've been getting my P's and D's and all sorts mixed up today. Verbal dyslexia as well as visual. Stayed in by a whisker. God, Vinny is absolutely, apart from that one, hitting the ball right through the court. <laughs> Getting Murphy stuck in the back. Her accuracy has gone up here. Had to, didn't it? Had to. Oh, the space that she's hitting now is so yes, different. <laughs> Spaces in the court, the area in which the ball's Too landing. Low. Left. Having Murphy on the stretch, running around. Yeah, she's putting some work into it. That's for sure. Fifteen bounces of the ball before she serves. She it. Yeah, it's quite a bit, isn't it? I don't know if they'll put anything in the ruling saying that. Over 20, and it's a fault. That'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it? On the eight that time. Yeah. I think the rhythms are coming to play. Striking quickly. Service dealt with, though. And down. No matter how many bounces, One that was eight. poor from the Warrior Princess. Go step this up. Nor El Shabini. Take away any type of time on the ball for Murphy. Or angle as well. well that's perfect squash, isn't it? I mean, it's tight length and then the ball yeah. drop winner. 4 1. Good combination. We knew this could happen. Love that top. Says the responding. She's responding. It's very, very cute. That was three, four. <laughs> the old uh, does crack me up. You see the old tricks of the trade. Hit the wall against us. Bounce it on your toe. Give yourself a bit of extra time.
Well, it's the first bit of emotion we've heard from Shabini. And out. 5-3. Clever angle. Oh, 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 wow. There's no room margin for error on that one. Shabini accelerating it. Six she does three. come through this, Shabini. This will really put her in good stead. There's a, a rest day tomorrow, which is not necessarily a good thing. But to have a bit of a run out, have that Six adrenaline three. test a few... Yeah, I mean, on, I, I, don't, Six I three. wouldn't know if she gets nervous at one or was she, was she nervy coming into the beginning of the third? I don't know. We'll ask her. We'll find out from her, but... I would absolutely love to know if she was well, nervous. No, that's what I mean. She never looks nervous no, at all. But it, she would say if she was asked, she wouldn't just pretend. I mean, two love down at TOC, looking down and out, literally. She was laughing out the back of the court to her dad and then went on and turned it around 3 2. Yes, right. What I'm trying to say is that, you know, sometimes these rounds can be a little bit too comfortable. Yeah, and she doesn't like a rest day either. No. I mean, she likes to just crack Six on, three. motor through everyone. You know, an extra bit of release of of adrenaline, knowing that somebody's quite close the score line. <laughs> yeah, just slightly misjudging that, Murphy, being pinned in the back court. 7-3. Warrior oh, Princess presses on. Court with the ball. No let's play a review. Going to review here Murphy. just to buy herself some time, some composure. No let's break up the momentum here. I don't think she's expecting this to be overturned at all. She knows she's stuck. She just needs some time mentally here to regroup. And you can see the hand went up. As soon as the boast went in, she knew it was the wrong shot. No let, decision upheld, Murphy has no reviews remaining. Eight, three left. <laughs> stroke two, Al Shabini. Or Al Shabini with that stroke Nine now. Three. So moments away from seizing the day in this round two encounter. Carpe diem in the Latin language. And that is pretty outrageous. It's quite beautiful. Just an arrow off the chariot. <laughs> Match ball. Very good. Bit of a mountain, though, Murphy. Down. It was a slightly laboured. I would say not laboured. It just was an odd movement. Wasn't it was it? odd. It was kind of misjudged. It was slightly sluggish. Well played. Oh, she's coming back. She's coming back. He's warm. 
six day match ball. She's lightening up the Six crowd. 11. What a character. 11, Welsh number one. Good for Shabini. It'd be really interested to hear what Michael asks her when he interviews her. Just needed that bit extra, as always with Shabini. Was she nervous at one all? That's the big question for me. Over to Michael. Uh, no, congratulations. First of all, that was a tough match against Tesney. I'm sure you knew it was it was coming. You've had a couple of 3-2 battles in years gone by. Um, were you nervous there going into the third with everything sort of level pegging, one game apiece? Well, definitely, yeah. Um, I was a bit nervous. Uh, First match of the tournament, and Tesni is an amazing player. I've been playing against each other for a long time. But actually, we've been along. We didn't play against each other. But uh, yeah, knowing that it's only a best of three, so we only will have one more game. So yeah, I was a bit nervous, but uh, I had a good start. And uh, I'm glad I kept the momentum until the end. As far as the structure goes, is it something that favours you or doesn't favour you? Having a bye yesterday so you don't play. Um, you have a tough round one match for you, really, but it's round two. You have another day off tomorrow, then you go into the quarterfinals. Is it a bit sort of disjointed? Uh, well, it's, uh, I think we're, I'm used to it a little bit now. I, I've, we've been playing a tough uh, matches from, from the first round, so yeah, I'm trying to be always prepared and ready and uh, just... Uh, Respect every opponent, so uh, yeah, just uh, it's it's a best of three, so it's uh, you just you drop on court for for not a long time, and you have another day uh, rest day, so uh, yeah, just so uh, try to be active tomorrow and be ready for the third round. And how are you finding London? It's great to have the the women's tour playing alongside the men's tour. This is an inaugural tournament for you guys, uh, so it must be pretty exciting. It's great to have you in in London, and it's great to have another UK event uh, alongside the world's best. But but we've got in the women's half of the draw at least, I think six of the women's top ten. Well, it's amazing. You yeah. see the crowd, the venue, the court, uh, and I think they're celebrating us with having a pink court uh, <laughs> this time. So yeah, finally we joined the men event. I've been watching this. Uh, this event for, for almost 20 years now. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to, that we finally joined the men and we have a, a women event, a big one in front of this amazing crowd and uh, a gold one and hopefully it's gonna get bigger and uh, just try to in, enjoy it this week and I'm really happy to be back in London. Thanks very much for the extra time at the end of the game. Let's hear it for Nora Shabini. Lovely words from Muriel Shabini there. As Joey said in commentary, perfect start really for her in this opener of this tournament. A bit of a test, nice run out. She said she was nervous going into that, and that will emotionally stand her in good stead. Good effort from Tesney Murphy. Some of her best squash out there today. In the end, the level just a bit too high from the buttoned up, collared top of Muriel Shabini. Brilliant slow mo there, just showing the accuracy that she finally found at the end of the game. 36 minutes, very entertaining match to cap off the women's round two, top half of the draw, 2 1 victory for Shabini to book her place into the quarterfinals on Easter Saturday. But don't go too far because this will be a belter. Two very hard hitting physical players. We're running a little bit behind schedule, so we're straight in. George Parker taking on Ika Pajares of Spain. A rematch of just two weeks ago, barely two weeks ago, in Octasia. 